Filofax Lindhurst Deluxe Leather. And this one is the Monster A4 size. And I want to say right here and now that this has taken an absolute hammering. It's, I think, 16 years old. I've had it from new. Cost me £100 in the UK. 16 years. And it has probably been out of the house more than any other Filofats. Um, I really only take my, uh, my EDC out. My... Um, uh, either the Final Fats M2 or the Guildford Extra Slim Mini these days. But this has been absolutely fantastic in terms of the, 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 the longevity of the leather. It's really taken some harsh treatment. It's quite badly worn all the way around, but I am very, very impressed. I'll tell you all about that in a minute, but first of all, dimensions um, as usual I will I will let you decide but here we go okay if I do it that way and then this way we could just about get it in this in the frame okay so I've actually got a, a ruler that does inches and centimeters this time for all you people over the pond uh, that would be helpful so Oh, uh, uh, rings, rings. Okay, uh, let's just check because I can't actually remember what the the ring size is on this. Okay, it is 30, 30 millimeters. Okay, that's that's great. Um, flatability. Well, as we can see, it is with with all of these larger ones to a greater or lesser extent um, it is fantastic absolutely perfect and as you know flatability is uh, is my favorite thing so what have we got here well it's a it's a zipped it's a zipped binder as you can see it's got two uh t two of the pen loops but interestingly they are different sizes now i like using a okay so this is these are two g2s pilot g2s and you can see the the plastic piece here well i like to take that off because i i really like using the g2 and they're nice and cheap i get through dozens of them a year uh but uh if i take the plastic off this one it will fit in a standard filofax pen loop so if you get a if you get a Filofax standard pen, it will fit just about every single Filofax unless otherwise advised. So this, I know for a fact, this is a standard Filofax size pen loop. However, what I like about the, the Lindhurst A4 is on this side, the, the pen loop Okay, we're getting a bit nerdy here, but on this side, I quite like it because, look at that. It fits a standard G2, Pilot G2. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very pleased. And uh, that's not, it's not going to fit, a standard G2 is not going to fit just about every single file of that. But in this one, uh, it does. I don't know whether that's a mistake with the manufacturing or whether they're all like this. All I'm saying is my one, it works. So what else have we got? Well, we've got the standard slots and we've got an ID here, uh, an ID pocket. And we've got two of these pockets, which uh, I believe are for diskettes or floppy disks of the time. OK, no problem. We've talked about that before. And the reason I wanted to talk about the... Lindhurst A4 today is because last week I was banging on about the A5 version. However, I don't. I own. I own an A5 Lindhurst, but I don't actually use it. So my one is still in the box. It's in condition. Lovely. However, if you want to see a Lindhurst A4 
that's many years old now um, and wants to know sort of how the, how the leather stands up, how the leather stands up to the sort of abuse and treatment that we all sometimes put off our effects through, then this is a really good example because I used to use this, uh, I'm recently retired, as you know, probably, I used to use this all the time. It, I had an A4 diary, a data page diary in here, and other stuff. And now it's been relegated to the other stuff. Um, so I use a standard set of Filofax blank dividers, and then I put I, st I just use a bit of uh, um, a sticky label and then write so that I can use them again because I I like to try and be as economical with paper as I can. So uh, these these have been used and reused, and now they're they're being used for different purposes. So you just stick a label on and, you know, wh why not? But these are standards, these actual Filofax dividers, I really like. I like the colour, I like the consistency of them. They always seem to be the same. So full marks to Filofax for continuing with a certain element of consistency when it comes to dividers. Great. And if you had to write something on here, they're actually quite they are actually quite tactile. It's I have used these in the past, um, and uh, but now I like to keep them neat and tidy with just a uh, just a, a just a label which I can uh, tear off and redo. But anyway, back to the Lindhurst itself. Now, as we know, some some binders with this sort of deluxe leather I mean it, it, there is some padding in here and and there's some sort of there's definitely some sort of stiffener definitely can you hear that definitely a stiffener in there uh, I don't know what's going on inside this I have actually cut I've dissected a file attacks before a few years ago I dissected a pocket Kensington and there was a um, there wasn't some plastic pounds here, but there was a, like a piece of what looked like cardboard all the way around. So it was a one piece, one piece that covered, it, it was like that, one piece. But I'm, I'm not sure in here, not, not really sure what the, uh, what's inside here. But as far as I'm concerned, it's good, flattability is good, and I'm very, very happy with this. And I'm particularly happy because... Unlike, oh, let's let's just reach up and get it. Okay, so unlike my uh, Golf Mini Extra Slim, it's a bit of a mouthful, that uh, is fairly new in terms of how often it's been used. I, I bought this off a seller who probably hadn't used it at all. And then within within a week, it starts cracking, uh, which I've showed you before, this, this, this kind of... This sort of leather cracking that, uh, um, where the leather is very very thin, th that does not apply. That does not apply to this Filofax for A4 Lindhurst. Bear in mind, this was out with me in the car, um, in cafes, at business meetings. It's taken an absolute hammering, a real beasting for around about 15 years. But look at this leather. Look, I just want to show you this. And full marks to Filofax for this. But there is no cracking at all. And this has been opened, I don't know, let's say it's been opened a few times every day, perhaps 250 days a year. You do the maths. Over many, many years, it's, uh, it, it's <laughs> yeah, fantastic. And, and I am very impressed with that. Let's have a, let's take these out. Let's take all this paper out and just show you. Okay, so, a bit dusty here through on use, but look at this, look. That is almost perfect. It's almost perfect. Zip, with a zip, again, uh, very useful. Not so useful if it breaks, but this one has not broken. It's not broken at all. It's still very, very smooth. Um, the only trouble I, is if I if I unzip it and I get to the point, I, I need to 
I need to just it's the nature of the design it's not it's not perfect and so you have to you have to be careful to open it all the way if you want to open it up which obviously you would have to do wouldn't you if you're using it in the way that is uh, that we're all familiar with um, there is a a slip here for an A4 pad which I don't I don't use but it is what it is and then there's a full length pocket here which is really really good for paperwork and one of the reasons why in business I think an A4 is possibly there's two reasons there's two reasons why I think an A4 is the ultimate so long as you can carry it obviously some people don't and and nowadays I prefer I obviously prefer carrying this to this but there are two reasons one is I don't know what it's like in the states but certainly in the UK here all business paperwork is A4 now you can get away with using an A5 for sure by folding it over etc etc but just about every piece of paper that you are given is A4 and you can literally just slide it in and you can hole punch it later and I'll talk about hole punches in a minute but perfect uh, it's absolutely perfect and this pocket you could probably get about 20 sheets of paperwork in there perfect 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 um, on the outside you've also got another of these full length uh, full length pockets which will will take a sheet of A4 as you can see so no problem but to be honest I'm not uh, I, I don't really use it I've never used it for that I'll tell you what I've used it for and um, even back in the day when mobile phones were a little bit thicker and chunkier, they were just like a, like a Mars bar or something, weren't they? Uh, not necessarily a brick. Do do you remember those back in uh, back in the day? I'm not quite sure. Um, I think I had a Ericsson T28, which, which was a flip phone. Anyway, they would they would go in here because there's a there is enough there's enough um, flexibility. Um, and these days it's fine to just put in your, your iPhone or your Samsung phone, whatever. But I found myself carrying it like this. And I, rather than carrying a phone in my pocket, I would just put it in there. And I'm, I am not a fan of iPads. However, perfect for an iPad as well. Um, the material is, is actually... It's some sort of, you know, it's that man-made man -made liner on both sides. Um, and so that's actually good because it things can slide in and out, no problem. Nice little logo here, um, which is a nice touch. And then there's the Filofax logo on there. But that brings me to the second reason why I like using an A4. In anger, out of the house, business, meetings, trades not so many trains but certainly some trains cars um and that's if you if you're carrying something like this like this it does not look like a file effects now i know that that will grate some people but i like to as you know i like to say it how it is personally particularly as a guy i have sometimes felt self-conscious of carrying the file effects because of this intrinsic shift to uh, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna wind people up but there's there's been this this intrinsic shift towards like a being a an, a fashion accessory and that's fine and that and that's absolutely fine and it is and they are lovely and and uh, you know if that is if the fashion thing it works for you it provides um, some pleasure and enjoyment hey that, perfect perfect just as just as well I mean to be honest I have got some uh, crazy colored file effects, um which I wouldn't as a guy they're not really my scene but I've just bought them because of the design and the construction and, and a curiosity as as to 
you know, I love looking at various file effects. It's, it's a bit nerdy, but you know, you and I know that this is this is this is this is a pleasure all of its own, isn't it? So, why am I taking an A4 file effects here? Because it does not look like a file effects. It doesn't look like a file effects. It just looks like a business folder, and I love that. Unless you look closely, they're not going to say to me, "Oh." Oh, look at that bloke. He's got a file effects. What's going on? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Because half of the people out there I know don't even know what a file effects is. And, you know, I don't really care that much, but I do care a little bit. So that is the reason why I have used a... File, that's the second reason I've used a A4 file effects in anger in business rather than a smaller one simply because it avoids that potential for me to feel a bit awkward about whipping out my file effects. This is all right. I'm happy with that because it looks like a wallet. This is all right because it looks like a business file effects. But anything in between, I'm not so confident as a, as a, I don't know. It's, it's pressure, isn't it? It's peer pressure, but there we go. So, um, I, some people might disagree with me, but th th that is how I am, and, and I, I'm just giving you my uh, blood and guts opinion about everything. So, right, so um, let me show you this wear on here because it is significant, but I've done nothing. I've not polished it. I've not. I've not done anything to it. It is as is. In fact, this has never been. This never been reconditioned in any way but it has picked up a lot of a lot of oh, it's so difficult on this with the light today it's very sunny outside i probably can't but here you can see oh, this is better isn't it you can see you can see here all this wear and and it's worn through the the leather on these tough as it is 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 actually quite a a thin piece of leather and I do seem to have underneath this black leather it's just okay I could have touched it up but I've just left it for the 16 years it's as I like to say it's a working tool so you know um and also the other thing is I just feel if you've got if you've got a tatty wallet or a tatty um folder it's less likely to be nicked because it has a perceived lower resale value in a like a like where someone just grabs it from you. So that is another consideration, perhaps. But here we've got we've got oh we've got some scratches which all the way along here and marks here. So it's really really quite scuffed in in places, but. Um, I'm very, very happy with it, and it's probably going to see me out. I would not be surprised if my grandchildren were, were using this in a hundred years' time when there's perhaps an, uh, a file of acts insurgents. This might be on a on an Antiques Roadshow programme. You never know. In a hundred years' time, we'll see. Well, I won't, but they might. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now, there is one problem. But it's not a major problem, and that is the rings. Bear in mind these these have been opened possibly more than any other file effects I own, and probably it's taken more of a hammering on average than than most people's file effects. So what I have to report is that this top this top ring here is fine, and this one and this one, but this bottom ring here, this bottom ring. Let's just see if I can if I can show you. There is there is some movement. The rings are still aligned, but they need to be closed a little bit. And as you know, we can do that, but it's not been enough for me to warrant me. I, I, I'm clearly lazy with my final faxes, and I haven't done it, but it it's good enough. And the the actual mechanism is still as strong as it, as it ever was in fact it's um probably a bit too strong anyway but there we go so i'm happy with it and the other thing of course
course, is the other advantage with an A4 is this the standard A4 hole punch, which you can you can buy. I don't know why I'm demonstrating this because everybody knows how they work. But there we go. So um, it is what it is. Interestingly, um, some some hole punches, especially the desk fax version, um, cost quite a bit of money to get hold of. But I can report that I paid the princely sum of twenty five pence for this one, uh, second hand at a car boot shop in the UK. So uh, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's this one or the one I bought at a car boot sale, just like a yard sale in the UK, and I paid a pound for that. Uh, they look very similar, so I'm not quite sure which one it is. Actually, I suspect this one is the pound one, but nevertheless, you can buy them anywhere. Um, and so that is a consideration. So, you know, if you're, for instance, going to the office, um, you've probably got one of these in your office, so you don't need a specialist Farnapax six ring punch. So you can have one at the office or have one here and they're cheap enough. So anyway, I have rambled on enough, but what I want to say is that as far as uh, Farnapaxes go, even though, even though I'm a fan of mainly vintage English made Farnapaxes prior to around about 1993, as we know, manufacturing ceased in, in the UK and moved abroad to various countries, as we know. Um, this one, I am very, 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 very happy with over the 15, 16 years or so that I have uh, I've had it. It is the Farnapax Lindhurst A4 and as far as I'm concerned, it is one of the best Farnapaxes ever made, period.